A big day. What are we expecting to hear in this trial? Yeah, well, I mean, this is a landmark court case for Hong Kong, but it's also being really closely scrutinised by Western governments. We've had statements from David Cameron, the UK Foreign Secretary, uh, over through the weekend, and lawmakers in the US and in Canada have called for his immediate release. But it's important, really, um, because of what it means for Hong Kong as a financial hub. Um, critics of the law, while Hong Kong government has maintained it actually safeguards its status, critics have said that actually it compromises uh, the rule of law, which has been the basis of Hong Kong's identity as uh, an international financial hub for so many years. Rebecca, in fact, we are hearing from the U.S. State Department as well when it comes to the trial of Jimmy Lai in Hong Kong, saying that they're condemning the prosecution of Lai, uh, you, the U.S. urging Beijing, Hong Kong officials to respect press freedom, and the U.S. also urging Hong Kong authorities to immediately release Jimmy Lai. So we're now getting the latest lines from the U.S. State Department. So, Rebecca, tell us a little bit more about the international implications, because you mentioned how the U.K. has also been urging... Uh, uh, Beijing uh, for lies freedom. We're now hearing from the U.S. What does this mean in terms of geopolitical tensions going forward? Yeah, it certainly underscores why this case is so important in terms of sort of the global and geopolitical implications here. There is certainly a risk that this does become a flashpoint for U.S.-China relations and U.S. relations with Hong Kong as well. Because partly of Lai's connections, lawmakers have been quite vocal in both Washington as well as in Brussels uh, and in Westminster about Lai's case in particular. Um, and there will also be this question mark over whether this sort of slight determination the slight warming that we've had in U.S.-China relations, whether that can uh, really sort of remain, given that there has been so much vocal criticism over Hong Kong. The broader sort of question here is really, for some, the case of Jimmy Lai symbolizes just how far uh, Beijing has been willing to go to try and crush political dissent in this city. And this goes beyond just the case of a single individual in Hong Kong, but really has taken on this sort of symbolic power, the crack down that Hong Kong has seen over the past five years since those pro-democracy and anti-government protests back in 2019.